fan of evidence-based decision-making. I think there are no good excuses for spreading or sharing misinformation, for example, on toxin chromosis, the disease that doesn't exist on the um, the, I'm talking about evidence. Some of the evidence that's been produced um, to support the proposals for the PSPO are about injuries and, and bad health. So almost 300 people were injured by dog bites in a three-year period, sufficient for them to go to Arab Park Hospital for treatment. And 78 of those were children under the age of 11. And it's important that we consider their needs. Um, not, this research, though, doesn't say what location they received their injuries. Um, so it's not clear, I don't see any evidence here of how this PSPO would affect that problem. Um, apart from the, the, the making a safe area of children's playgrounds, I think yeah, if a child is, is um, scared of a dog for whatever reason, it does make a difference to them if they know they can go to a children's playground which is a dog free zone. And in the survey results, 80% of people supported that. Um, so I would like to know, is there any evidence of this kind of PSPO resulting in a decrease of that kind of behaviour, for example, when it's been used in other local authorities, because I didn't see any in the pack. Um, and also welcome suggestions from Rob, um, I'd like your written contributions and the sources for your um, uh, evidence and suggestions, and also your suggestions on how to deal with, how best to deal with problem behaviour, particularly from dogs. Thank you, Chair. Um, yeah, I'd like to pick up first of all, if I could, Mike, um, a couple of things that were raised earlier. Um, first of all, it was raised by um, Councillor Spratt and then again by Councillor Blakely. This is to do with the, um, the issue of walking dogs in cemeteries and, and crematoriums. Um, you said earlier that. Um, that it was already a law in existence and you made out as if this is a concession that you're making to allow people to now take the dogs into the crematorium and the cemeteries but you also said that it was never enforceable well I'd like to, to know why are we paying Kingdom all this money if they can't enforce the, um, the bylaws within cemetery and crematoriums. I mean, this is a place that should be protected as far as I'm concerned. It, and it's not concession by any means. It's the fact that it's not been enforceable, and that's, there's a reason for that. The same as um, that, that lacking in lots of other areas. You know, we're not getting true value for money from Kingdom. And the other point I'd like to raise is. Um, it was, it was mentioned earlier about the elderly lady who was fine when her bitch went, actually uh, weed on the grass and she was given a, a fixed penalty notice. But at the same time, she was also penalised because of the length of the lead that she had. Now, I've had an email from a resident who specifically asked me to find out the answer to this question and uh, I'll read it to you, and it says, regarding the amendments to the SPO, the old dog fouling, can you please find out why lead lengths are to be restricted to two metres? Yeah. Is there some health and safety reason that's just arisen, or are we a council just following various Manchester Council examples? Could you give me an explanation for that, please? Thank you. Okay, thanks, Councillor Barry. Mike, would you like to answer those three lines of questions? Okay. In terms of dog tax and dog control, um, other than um, the very minimal resources we've got in terms of the uh, council's dog walk, we haven't got provision at the moment to, to take action. And our um, proposal through the PSPO is to give our officers the ability to identify an issue and uh, put in place control measures, i.e., request that the dog is put under control by the lead forthwith. So there is there is an inadequate provision at the moment. It's not if we haven't got the provision out there and the proposal is that we will equip our contractor with that ability uh, in terms of um, acting out the control. In terms of dog fouling, uh, yeah performance in the in the, in the final court of the year wasn't good enough. There was an issue about 
uh, recruitment and retention officers. There is, there is, they're, they're having difficulties in doing that. And we're going to work closely with them to try and make sure that they're together. That, 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 that there's, there's ongoing issues um, with, with, with the team. Um, we work with closely to address that and then we're back up to optimum levels now, but only just there's a long period where the team was depleted for, for, for a number of reasons. In terms of costs, I'm not quite sure you the, the, the report says that, that all costs will remain, will be made, will be reached in, within internal and existing resources. So that's things like publicity, my time, etc. and others. In terms of um, the, 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 the amount, we, we are committed to providing training for Kingdom staff on equalities issues and um, dog behaviour issues. and get the right people to do that. And we will really cover costs. That's, that's the only cost that we are actually making, is saying is, is, is over and above um, costs, internal costs. In terms of, uh, yeah, there is a cap, small capital uh, programme that will be needed to introduce um, signage, for one, and that's again explicit in the report. <coughs> Thank you, Just to come back on, on, on those points, um, with regards to the resource, like, I don't really understand how we're gaining anything, so by introducing a PCSL that doesn't gain the resource, does it? We've still got the same amount of officers and the same amount of third party officers for Kingdom. So whether they are enforcing something because the lead is too long or too short or whatever, uh, or whether they are determining whether the dog is completely out of control or not, that it, it's, it's the same amount of people that would still be needed to enforce that action. It doesn't, you don't gain anything by it. It's a, it's a, it's a zero sum. There's nothing there. You don't gain anything just by the PCSO. And with regards to the charges, so what we're actually saying, or what you've just basically said, is that it is misleading then to say that there's no costs at all. So the, 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 there will be costs for, uh, as you just said, a capital fund. And it won't just be internal, will it? Because in, in order to actually enact uh, the enforcement contract, because there is training, because there is um, a, a, a communications drive that will be necessary, etc. There is costs that will be incurred on top of not doing it at all, clearly. Would, that, would, would you agree with me on that? Yeah, we, we have existing resources, uh, a publicity um, budget and, and, and uh, a resource that we'll, we'll utilise for all this. We have that, it's, it's called the Love World Brand, and that's what we'll use to promote uh, the, you know, what we do in the, in the build to implement in the PCSO. Kingdom will be required to employ more officers to, to deliver this, this aspect of the contract. Thank you. So to put, to put that another way, that's council taxpayers' money, uh, which is unnecessary funds being used in an unnecessary department on an unnecessary initiative. So whilst the funds are actually there, from taking that enforcement action. But it's not from the council tax, it's money that we've made from the courts and from, uh, from offenders who haven't made it at the end of the month's courts. That's where the local brand, local brand uh, funding comes from. The communications budget won't cover it. That's that, I'm talking about that communications budget. That's, that's the local brand. Budget. For this specifically. Yes. But yeah. we still employ a, a, we still have an officer who sat there who clearly has the resource and time to be able to be assigned to this. Who, if this wasn't here, yeah. Uh, would not be necessary, so therefore I'll go back to what I've just said to the unnecessary departments with regards to what we're talking about, uh, whereby uh, that funding that is necessary to fund that particular department could be released from frontline services if necessary. Uh, the the overall brand is to promote um, our, our environmental drive to change, to change a behaviour in whatever way, including this. It's set there. Excuse me, it's come from um, uh, enforcement income and it's there to be utilised. I mean, you, you may not agree that the PSPO is needed, but, that, but the money's there, and, it's, and it's, it, it is an existing resource. <coughs> so, yeah, so that's the cost of In terms of uh, council uh, debt, um, in terms of um, dog bite injuries, again, it, it's, the, it's the issue about uh, control that we want to implement. We want, we want people to be clear that, that there is an expectation that your dog will be, will be, will be able to control. Um, under instruction, so you have the appropriate lead. Um, I don't think we've said in the, in the PSPO that we're going to specify a, a dog lead, but clearly the extended the extendable leads are not good practice. Um, two meters. 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 Two
a 50,000 pound signage. That, that, is, that is a capital one off. Yeah. It's still world council, isn't it? It is, yeah. 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 And as I mentioned before, and perhaps going back to council society comments, please be honest, we are, you know, we're used to going to other parts of the country and abiding by those measures. If we go to Devon or Cornwall or, uh, or North Wales, or Mid Mid Wales, we're used to seeing these sort of provisions in place. People have introduced these PCSOs and, and, and renewed them um, because, they're, because they're effective. There were questions about the evidence of the effectiveness of the GXPOs. Um, likewise, they provide um, what evidence is there that we've talked to you know, to reduce the number of hospital appointments caused by fighting. We don't know where or how those fights were caused. So, are you making connection between the length of the league and, and dog bites? Is that what you're asking for evidence rather than assertions? Yeah. <laughs> Well, it, 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 the the idea is that there is a, there's an amount of um, uh, dog attacks and dog nuisance that is, is, that's been recorded and it's in the evidence base that's it's, it's there to, to read, etc. We want to introduce uh, control measures that will, that will reduce that. But, but in terms of everything, in terms of... Councillor Bennett, just a question, please, Mike. Cemeteries and crematorium. Um, that, the bylaw is not enforced by Kingdom, it's nothing to do with Kingdom. It's, a, it's something that exists within the, the Parks Countryside team, and they haven't got the resource to enforce it rightly or wrongly. Um, what has become custom practice is that people are exercising the dogs in cemeteries um, um, and, 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 and are in there, and we have got the choice of re, re establishing. The measure, previously people not going into there, or establishing a new measure which is based on people controlling their dogs not going into cemeteries. Our recommendation is that we, we go with the latter, we allow people in with their dogs under control. Um, and in terms of in, in terms of dog lead, we we've set we've set out in our guidance that, um, that a, a dog lead um, is, is two metres, but it's guidance, it's not, it's not something that's going to be included in the measure. Oh, no, we won't enforce that evidence. It's good practice. Okay, and just going back to the point on the subject of um, I still, what I said still stands, the fact that if it wasn't enforceable, I would imagine if anything needs to be enforceable, Needs to be in a crematorium and cemetery, more so than on an on a open parkland or, or, or field or, or playing fields. It's, it's a place that where people go and they should have respect when they go there. The, the, view, the view is that the measure will be that dogs are allowed in under control on a lead. Okay, Councillor Gray. 